May I introduce to you my wife, Colette? You've married a struggling writer. You've married a country girl without a penny to her name. <laughs> We're doomed, are we? <laughs> I have this remarkable idea. You could write for me. What? Those stories you told me last year. My school stories? Yes, that could be my next novel. My name is Claudine. I live in Montigny. I shall probably not die there. He's made you one of his ghosts already. Is this it? It's too feminine. More spice, less literature. We've never had one fly off the shelves like this before. And do you know who's buying it? Young women. Really? Quite a phenomenon. All of Paris is saying your husband is a genius. Claudine! Madame Colette, I believe Willie based Claudine in part on your school days. Yes, I think I had a little something to contribute. <laughs> You've done something important. All those young girls, you've given them a voice. Somebody told you. I didn't need to be told. Meeting you is enough. He was after you. Your jealousy is misplaced. It was the wife I found interesting. There. We can't risk it. Since when have you considered scandal to be a bad thing? Oh, my word, what are you wearing? You know the new Claudine. Why don't we publish it under both our names? It's out of the question. I need my name on the book. No. We're holding dynamite here. And if it goes off at the wrong time, it could blow our bloody heads off. Right. Oh, you hurt, and you hurt, and you hurt. And you think that by saying that's what men do, you clear it all away. Everything I thought and felt went into those books. They were me me when I knew nothing. You molded me to your own desires. And you thought that I could never break free. Well, you're wrong. Destroy these. Burn them. My name is Colette. And the hand that holds the pen writes history.